Garanti BBVA expands remote corporate banking. Turkey-based BBVA S franchise has announced its strategic commitment to enhance customer accessibility by extending remote banking services to corporate clients. Virgin Money to buy back 150 million British pounds of its shares. Virgin Money announced its plan to buy back a further 150 million British pounds of its shares in order to boost the development process of its overall business. Vault's new feature automates accounts payable for Canadian businesses. Canada-based business banking provider Vault has launched its transfer approval feature to help business owners automate accounts payable, AP. EPC publishes SPAA Scheme's default remuneration model. The European Payments Council, EPC, has published the default remuneration model for the SEPA Payment Account Access Scheme. IDEX Biometrics secure major order for IDEX Pay Biometric Metal Cards. Norway-based card manufacturer IDEX Biometrics has received an initial order for IDEX Pay from a partner in Asia who will deploy biometric metal payment card for its clients worldwide. Funding Circle partners with Atom Bank. UK-based lending platform Funding Circle has partnered with Atom Bank to provide small and medium-sized enterprises, SMEs, with convenient access to funding. MasterCard partners with Industrial Development Bank. The Industrial Development Bank, IDB, has announced its partnership with MasterCard to drive financial inclusion and support Egypt's digital transformation strategy. Magna T partners with Sheikh Shack Bout Medical City. Payments company Magna T has entered a collaboration with Sheikh Shack Bout Medical City, SSMC, to provide improved healthcare payment methods. Nomu Pay acquires total processing. Ireland-based unified payments platform Nomu Pay has announced its acquisition of the UK-based payment services provider Total Processing. Klarna received FCA authorization in the UK. AI-powered payments network and shopping assistant Klarna has been authorized by the FCA to provide credit services and regulated payments in the region of the UK. AMLYZE partners with Plumery. Lithuania-based RegTech AMLYZE has entered a strategic partnership with Plumery aiming to improve the landscape of financial technology. South Korea plans a CBDC pilot in 2024. South Korea has revealed its plans to launch a central bank digital currency, CBDC pilot involving 100,000 citizens in the fourth quarter of 2024. IPCoin raises almost US$10 million United States dollars in Series A funding. US-based Neobank IPCoin has raised nearly US$10 million United States dollars in a Series A funding round led by China-based venture capital firm GenFund. Raiffeisen Bank to roll out crypto trading. Austria-based Raiffeisen Bank has announced that it will start rolling out cryptocurrency trading services to retail customers by the end of January 2024. Kraken charged with operating as an unregistered securities exchange. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission has charged crypto exchange Kraken with operating as an unregistered securities exchange. EPC publishes business conditions for SPAA's default remuneration model. The European Payments Council, EPC, has published the business conditions for the SEPA Payment Account Access, SPAA, scheme, marking a significant step forward in the development of open banking in Europe. Embedded Finance Europe applies for EMI license in France. Embedded Finance Europe is pleased to announce that it has recently applied for an electronic money institution, EMI, license in France, which will allow it to passport across Europe.
AI Act. Industry warns EU against overregulation. Digital Europe, a digital technology trade association, has warned the EU against overregulating in its upcoming AI bill in a letter this week. EU considers widening scope of cybersecurity regulation. The EU is contemplating the need to widen scope of cybersecurity regulation to impact big tech, banks, and airlines as more companies move to the cloud to drive innovation. Aptis. I secures 3 million pre-series A funding. Transforming compliance activities from a mere obligation and cost center into a lever to generate business opportunities by changing the way large organizations and companies, starting with banks and insurance companies, access, consult, and utilize the immense volume of legal documents. This is the mission of Aptis. I, which announces today a pre-series A of 3 million. Philippines and Malaysia implement biometric verification through voice. Philippines-based Union Bank has introduced biometric verification through voice recognition to stem fraud. Duquan to be extradited from Montenegro. Terraform Labs' former CEO Duquan is to be extradited to either South Korea or the USA following approval from a court in Podgorica, Montenegro. This concludes our current edition of the Bay Pay Forum podcast. Remember that you can read the full text of each article in our news section on baypayforum.com. We hope to see you tomorrow.